Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to CFA. Uh, today we're finally being able to go out uh, crabbing since we only have about a week left in the season before it ends here in the San Francisco area since uh, the crabby season does end on June 30th. The tides uh, aren't gonna be too crazy today. The wind is a little bit high, but I'm pretty sure we should be fine. I'm actually out here with my nephew Max today uh, he wanted to come out and record, and uh, we're just trying to see when we can get on some crabs. So, yeah, other than that, thanks for all of you tuning in, and we'll catch you guys once we get to the beach. All right, boys, uh, we made it to the beach right now. Um, it is a little bit windy, so I'm sorry about that real quick, but this is the spot right here. We already got the two sand spikes um, in the water. Uh, now we're just gonna cast our rods out and then later on I'll show you what we're using to cast these crabs All right guys, so here we are in San Francisco at this Beach this little hidden beach here and we're using these crab snares right here that I actually made myself and If you do want a video on how I made them uh, just Let me know and then I'll post a video about that. So when you're casting these lines out you have to make sure that your drag is always super tight because when you're pulling it back in you don't want it to be loose and gets all messed up so basically we're gonna try to cast beyond the waves so we're gonna try to get on the water a little bit too deep maybe like around knee high or so pull back and then there you go a little bit past the waves keep it there for now all right, and then we'll keep that one in there for like 10 minutes or so. I'm about to cast out the second one, and then we'll catch you guys if we have any crabs. So the point of the crab snare is that you put bait inside of the cage, and then once they crawl on top of it, uh, you let it sit out there for like maybe five, ten minutes, and then once it sets on top, you pull the snare with your pole, and then he will get caught in it. If the loop is around one of the claws or uh, or his body or something like that. So we have about five minutes before we pull up our first two poles. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So we are about to make our first two poles with the poles that we got out here in this beach and um so basically i set a timer for 10 minutes if i don't catch anything in the first 10 minutes then i'll switch it up to 15 but if i do catch something in the in 10 minutes then i'll uh go down to five minutes because then i have a little bit less time of worrying if there's a crab or not so basically the whole situation with this is that you're gonna basically look straight into the horizon with your pole facing down, reeling all the slack line as much as you can. That way, we pull up, start reeling in, and then usually there is, but I didn't think I casted this one out too far. Pull it back up, walk out a little bit. A little bit better of a cast. Guys, got our first rock crab. 
can see. So this one's good to keep. Put four of there. <laughs> there might be a little hole out there. Mm hmm probably. Caught another crab just now. Measure it. It is exactly four and a half and they only have to be four inches to keep. Oh. Hey, what's up guys? So uh, we ended up changing spots because the other spot we were at, uh, we weren't really catching that many. Uh, we only caught two rock crabs. So we changed to the new spot that I used to come that I've done pretty well with Dungeness crabs. So we already have the first rod and also the second rod. So anyway, same thing. Since it is a little bit easier, make sure your reel is good, tight and set. Have the pull down, facing it, pick it up. Make sure that the make sure that the line is nice and tight. Then bring up and start reeling. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby, oh yeah, this one feels good, this one feels good, I must have two, I think so, hopefully they don't let go, oh, I think it's down there, <laughs> ten, Oh yeah, this one feels good. This one feels good, baby. This one feels good. That feels a little bit better. I have no clue where this is. Feels a little bit better. Oh, I think it came off. I think it came off. Yeah, I think so. Dang it. I think it came off, boys. Yeah, for sure it came off. Uh, it's good though. We got the other pull. We're about to do let's get it let's get this crab boy let's get this crab oh there's nothing on this one dang oh yeah baby that's how we do it out here boys that's how we do it we just pull in, nice and easy. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, man. All right, boys. Have a good positioning. We're grabbing this. Oh, you know, it's good when it starts spinning. That's good when it starts spinning. Bring him up. Swing him up. Woo. All right, guys, so we just caught this crab right here. It is a female, you can tell, because this part is wider. When they're males, they're skinnier. So the way you have to measure it, it's not point to point, but the inside towards the other inside. So you grab your, 
grab it. Has to be five and three quarters. Put up against. This one is just a millimeter. If you can see that, a millimeter off. So we cannot keep this one. But yeah, hopefully we'll catch some more. boys gonna try it try fishing this right here let that sink down all the way to the bottom who knows how deep it is but uh hopefully i get a bite or something there you go i hit the bottom I just got broken off. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> and a piece of squid. But it's just, yes, it's a little weird, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. See this right here? That is a keeper dungeon right there. So, oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. It's a female too. So we're gonna keep her right there. Toss this one back in. And then see if we can catch a fish. Ooh, I don't know if I was recording or not, but hopefully I was. But, oh my God, that was insane. up guys so this was the last crab it is barely legal but um, honestly it's better than nothing put them in with the other two rock crabs and that's gonna be the end for today what's up guys so today we it was an all right day. We didn't catch too many crabs. Uh, we lost quite a few from uh, from what you guys saw. But uh, other than that, I think me and me and Max had a pretty good day today. Um, I just want to say thanks you guys for watching and tuning in and subscribing and liking and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I also just want to mention that if you guys want to see anything specific, uh, just let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more kayaking videos, more crabbing videos, or if you want me to go try out a different lake or shore fishing or anything like that, just let me know and then I'll see if I can get it going.